sky in outer space where Saturn and Jupiter overlapped. Unfortunately, it was too cloudy here to see it that night, but it's so cool to learn about outer space. So I'll be reading There's No Place Like Space by Dr. Seuss. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I'll prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in! Here we go! We'll fly high up in the sky. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars, and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see... The planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same, hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home, and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day, and it will never stop. The question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way, because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next, here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it's covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter, and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think it could float in an ocean and not even sink? A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show you some to you. Neptune, planet eight, is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say, Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up 999 nickels. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. Bet you could find the Big Dipper in the sky. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called the sun. From the earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute, a million of our Earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon, but first we must take a quick, quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon caller car called a lunar rover. As an astronaut studies what's up in the sky, Thing 2 wants to be one. In fact, so do I. 
The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go. Fly back up to the stars and take thing one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover, and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something new. The end. Well, I hope we have a clear night in the sky and you can see some stars and maybe some planets. And uh, stay warm while you're out there, of course. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the new year.